Should America ban plastic shopping bags? Pre-writing reasoning. Um, we have already done the claim and we've already found evidence. Now it's ready for reasoning. So you have one more step left after this, which is the easiest part, um, the intro and the conclusions. Those are the easier parts. Um, reasoning is kind of hard. This is one of the harder parts and I want you to hang on. We're going to get through this. I'm going to give you some tips and hopefully you, um, you understand what's going on and you can get through this. Once again, if you have questions, you can ask um, the teachers that are there in the room with you, but the evidence and claim should help you to write your reasoning. So you're going to be referencing back to your claim. Um, you're going to be using keywords from the quote. Um, so you're going to be putting it, putting in the reason, what the reason means, um, uh, why it matters. And I would suggest that you look back at your notes. So some of the notes that, um, we took earlier, um, you should be able to look back at. Um, so these are some of the notes that you have the questionnaire, um, sorry, the fill in the blank that you filled out. So down here at the bottom, you answered some questions and these are on all of your sheets. So you should be able to look back at them and answer some questions and hopefully help you with your reasoning part. Okay. So we are looking at pre-writing reasoning. So this is how you are going to be graded. This is your rubric and we are going to be looking at not only a 3.0, but we're also going to be looking at a 4.0 so that you know what you can do to get a 4.0. So in order to get a 3.0, you have to be proficient. The reasoning provides a clear explanation that connects evidence to the claim and thesis. That is what you need to do in order to get a 3.0. Now, I am asking you to try a little bit harder and see if you can actually get a 4.0. Um, four is exemplary. Uh, it's an A+. Plus. Three is an A four is an A plus. So the reasoning provides a sophisticated explanation that connects the evidence and the claim and thesis. And it recognizes and includes a counter argument. Oh my gosh. Didn't we just look at that just recently? A counter argument. And remember, everything has to be in your own words. Please don't copy anything off of me. Make sure you're doing this in your own words. I want to know your thoughts. So you could easily get a 3.0 or you could easily get a 4.0. Remember, everything is being graded separate. Okay, so we are going to be looking at um, each one of our body paragraphs. We have the green one and we have the blue one. So we're going to be looking at reason number two today. Um, you should have put the information. I'm going to show you once again what my uh, one looked like on the other one. So this is what my body paragraph look like. Remember, don't use my information, but this is just the example that we used when we were doing um, the citing of evidence. So now here is the part right here, reasoning. So this is where you're going to put your information. And what you're going to do is you're gonna write what the source says in your own words without quotation marks. So I want you to do that. Write what the source says in your own words, no quotation marks. You're going to refer back to your reasoning. You're going to refer back to your quote, and you're also going to refer back to your original claim statement. So this is where you will be looking at here, your claim statement. Should um, America should not ban plastic shopping bags because, or if you put America should ban plastic shopping bag because, you should have had reason one here and reason two here. So you will be filling in, like I said today, your reasoning for reason one and also your reasoning for reason two, okay? Also today, you will be working on your information right here, um, which is your information about uh, why you chose this. Um, why you chose your counterclaim. So you will be filling in all of this information today. Here are some things to, to get you started. Um, these are some sentence starters, an explanation of evidence and how it supports the claim and thesis. Using reasoning in your essay. 
This is important because this proves that blank because blank. This confirms that and this supports that. So you should be working on that information. Here, I did an example for you. Um, I put plastic shopping bags help society, help people in society. The quote that I got was from one of the articles, um, Chandler 2023. I'm trying to remember which document that was from. Oh, that was from document F. And so I put down uh, the direct quote, the companies that manufacture the bags themselves employ thousands of people in plants and factories across the U.S. So um, I was referring back to the reason that I picked out, and this was my quote to back up that reason. I cited my source, and then I gave an explanation of that. So my reasoning right here, my explanation is my reasoning. America should not ban plastic shopping bags because the manufacturing of sh plastic shopping bags helps the economy. People need jobs and manufacturing plastic bags helps people to put food on the table for their families. See, you um, are supposed to make sentences here. It's going to make it a lot easier when you get ready. And each one of these little boxes the the whole box itself is a whole paragraph so this is body paragraph number two so as long as you have this information done then you should be able to copy and paste and put it into the other part of your graphic organizer to write your essay okay if you have any questions please feel free to ask your teachers once again you could either get a 3.0 on this um, which the reasoning provides a clear explanation that connects the evidence to the claim thesis statement or a four, which is an A+, plus. the reasoning provides a sophisticated explanation that connects the evidence and the claim thesis and recognizes and includes a counter argument. So the counter argument is what color box again? Does anybody remember? Anybody remember what color it is? That's right. It's the yellow box. So please make sure you get your yellow box done in order to get a 4.0. The yellow box needs to be complete and everything needs to be answered in it. Once again, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you.